What's going on guys? My name is Noah and this is Broken Arrow Bison. Today is the day. We're gonna let these guys out on the pasture. I am super excited and I'm glad you guys are here with us. So before we let them out, we're gonna go ahead and feed them again. My last herd, I fed them range cubes and they really liked that, but these guys uh, tend not to like the range cubes. I think it's just because it's not as sweet. So we went ahead and got some sweet feed. It's just uh, regular cattle sweet feed. Um, and so I have been feeding uh, my bull that this week. I'm a really proponent of grass fed animals but you really need something with these buffalo to be able to call them back. If you ever get them out or uh, you just want to be able to get them in the crowd, doctor them, just different things like that. Uh, it's really good to have something that they like that they can come to. Uh, I have a local feed store, um, grain elevator, that's going to be mixing up some feed for me, uh, specifically for buffalo, but this works for now. Um, eventually I'd like to train them to some sort of range cube because you can throw the range cube out onto the ground they can pick it up a lot easier than you can the sweet feed so you can feed the range cubes to them uh, anywhere I might have to sweeten the range cubes up with maybe some molasses to try to uh, entice them that way but we're gonna go ahead and feed them and then we will check the whole fence and then we're gonna let them out So we did decide on some names for these guys. Our herd is gonna get pretty big someday, and I don't think I'll be able to name every single one of them, but we only have six here, and we thought it'd be fun to be able to get some names to these guys. So we have Walking Coyote is gonna be our bull. The one with the 78 ear tag, we named her Black Feather because she's really dark. 94, we named her White Feather, and then the two we got from Peter Cole. We named the bigger animal. She, I think she might be a lead cow. I can't tell uh, quite yet until they get out in the pasture, but uh, she's a bigger animal and seems very uh, bossy, uh, really in charge. So we named her Strong Wind. And then the smaller one from Peter, we named her Red Prairie because she's a uh, really kind of got some red streaks through her and then our little little girl she's number 88 we named her little river so we're going to go ahead and walk this fence line and make sure everything is looking good it's been a couple weeks since I put it up, so I want to make sure it's all good. Make sure all these wires are tight, nothing's grounding out, and then um, we'll be able to energize it. I've got it turned off right now, so I don't get shocked.
everything is looking good on this corner uh, just want to make sure none of the insulators are broken and we want to make sure that no sticks are touching or anything like that it's not going to be grounded out so let's look look at all these corners here Looks like this leg can be tightened up a little bit, one or two of the wires. This one's okay, this one's not great. Well, and this is why we check them. Forgot to pin this one. This one's looking good. Everything's on there how it should be, nice and tight. These short legs like this are really hard to keep tight. The, uh, these strainers here, these tighteners, are really hard to get them in a pin that fits right on this short leg like this. But we got it done, it's not too bad. And one more short leg, and then the longer legs are easier to easier to tighten. That one looks good. Everything's in order how it should be. No broken wires. All these brace wires, they're all tight. Got all my tools here. Basically all you need for high tensile. Need a fencing, a pair of fencing pliers. Need uh, this white tool will tighten up those corners and then this uh, faded out orange tool this goes inside here and then see if I can do this with one hand goes up onto the fence like this it'll catch and then you can pull that pin out and place it wherever it needs to and it just winds up the fence into that roll pretty simple so these uh, like I said you can't really get these very tight that's not that's not really how I want this. Uh, I want this a little bit tighter, but since it's just such a short leg, it's really hard to get any tighter. I think I can get these two tighter though. one all looks in order make sure these are tight good this one's nice and tight and everything looks good there so the other thing we're looking for here is these insulators make sure they're not broken and this ground wire is held in good these insulators on all of these T posts all the way down and that's one I need to fix. My brother-in-law brother told me about this one that I needed to address. So we'll go ahead and swap that insulator out and put a new one on. The reason why that one did that is because you have this really sharp angle. It's probably hard to see in film, but really sharp, sharp angle coming up to this ridge right here, and then it goes back down. 
and this high tensile just gets so tight that it can put some strain on there. Um, if that does that again, I'll probably put two T-posts in there to split the weight on that. So that doesn't happen all that often, but it can. This whole leg is looking pretty good. This one's all pretty good. Tell you, that leg right there is super, super tight. Got it probably a little too tight that it snapped a couple of insulators on that one. So, it'll be all right though. Just two more stretches. See how this is doing. I can kind of see these wires up here are sagging a little bit. So we'll go ahead and tighten those down. Sometimes what happens is deer can jump over them and uh, they'll get snagged and it'll stretch the wire out just a little bit. Um, that, I don't think that's what happened here. I think this is just from uh, not having it all finalized since we built it. So this is our emergency water system right here set up. If you haven't seen our last video, go ahead and uh, click the link up above and we uh, set this up last week just as an emergency water system to be able to uh, have something in case that creek, creek dries up on me. Everything looks pretty good here. All the insulators are good. We've got a uh, underground wire buried underneath that gate right there that connects that leg of the fence. All in all, it looks pretty good. Um, this is the last leg and one that runs beside the driveway and it is pretty good. Uh, we got a couple insulators that broke over there. Has some really extreme high spots and really extreme low spots where they snapped. I might add a couple more um, T-posts in there in order to split some of that stress. But other than that, it's holding up pretty good. Sometimes you'll see these wires sagging a little bit, like I said, from the deer, but really uh, it's not too bad. I think all the tightening that I did was just from uh, just finalizing it. So. It's all looking good and I think uh, I think we're ready to plug her in and and let the buffalo out. I am stoked. They are much deserving some pasture. Grass is just starting to turn green. Really can't see it right now. There's a pretty thick layer of uh, last year's growth there, but it is uh, starting to turn green and they will be excited to be out on pasture. So Let's go ahead and let them out. Start it up.
looks like they're having fun. They're checking out all the corners. It looks like they found the water up there. This is typically what buffalo do is you let them out and they find all the corners. They want to make sure they know all of their boundaries. So you can see a little bit of their prancing up there. They're having a blast. They love green pasture. And I bet you they might start playing tag here pretty soon. See how fast they're running up on that ridge. Buffalo can do up to 40 mile an hour and they can take it in, they can do it in, in just a split second. Their trachea is larger than any land mammal, their size in any, uh, in proportionate, larger than any other mammal. So they can do zero to 35 or 40 instantly. That is always fun. I really enjoyed that with my last herd when I let them out. They would run and just start playing, really find their boundaries. So I hope you guys enjoyed that also. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for joining our journey with this great American icon. We are having a blast. We hope you guys are too. In the last video, I asked you guys if you guys would enjoy um, a live feed of the animals. We're thinking maybe like a Saturday morning, uh, 9, 10 o'clock, and maybe like once a week or once a month. If you guys would be interested in something like that, leave a comment down below, tell us your thoughts, and thank you for watching.